Hi everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel Technex Solutions. In this video, we are going to look at how to do LDAP sync, how to connect Active Directory to Snipe IT. In the previous videos, I configured Snipe IT on Windows Server. If you have not checked out those videos, link is in the description so that you can check it out. I have logged on to my Snipe IT server. As you can see, that Snipe IT server is a workgroup uh, machine. It is not a domain join machine. Uh, however, I have pre-configured my domain controller, which you have to do it, and uh, so that uh, your Active Directory is ready to go for this video. All right, and uh, other thing, you should make sure that you can actually ping to your domain controller. Uh, my IP address of domain controller is 192.168.60.11. Let's see if I can ping. Okay, so as you can see that I can ping my domain controller. Other thing is that your DNS should work. So when you ping DNS name of your domain, so it should uh, give us an IP address. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to ping my DNS. Uh, my domain is uh, js.com. I'm pinging js.com. It should give us an IP address. So in your case, it should reply back with an IP address. All right, so quickly I will show you my domain controller. If I minimize that and I'll go back to my domain controller, uh, which is js-dc01. And um, if I open server manager in local server, you can see that uh, the IP address is here, ethernet2, which is 192.168.60.11. And another thing I would like to mention that you can also uh, domain join your Snipe IT server if you like. So that is an option as well. So let's log on to our Snipe IT. So I have logged on to Snipe IT. And uh, what are we going to do is on the top right hand corner, if you click on uh, this settings panel and it will open a new page for us within the same window and then we will click on LDAP. So this is the page where we are going to configure our LDAP. So LDAP integration, let's enable that from the first uh, button and then Active Directory. If this is an Active Directory server, which is the yes in our case, we are going to tick that box as well. So LDAP password sync. So in this case, your uh, domain controller or your domain has to be online all the time so that you can, or users, they can log in. So I'm going to go with that option and I marked this option, yes, Active Directory Domain. My domain is js.com, type in your domain in here. So LDAP server, type LDAP, colon, forward slash, forward slash, uh, your actually domain my case it is js.com so use tls i'm not going to use that ldap ssl certificate validation uh, if you have ldap certification you can um, leave that uh, box unchecked uh, i'm going to check that box because um, it says allow invalid ssl certificate okay um, so the next option is L, uh, ldap wine username so that has to be admin so that we can sync and connect over ldap so I'm using inbuilt administrator account on my domain controller. So just make sure you should use admin account. So my account is administrator at js.com. And uh, here you type the password, LDAP bind password. So the next option is base bind DN. So here you have to connect to your organizational unit, to your OU where you would like to sync all the, pa all the users. All right, so I'll show you which OU I will be syncing. So it's in my domain controller and I will open Active Directory. Okay, so in Active Directory, you can see js.com is my domain. And let's, uh, I'll bring it in here in the center so that you can view it easily. Um, so js.com is a domain. And then further, I have an OU, js users. So I'm going to use this OU. Any user in this OU will sync to my Snipe IT server. So my JS OU, uh, JS users OU further has all users and service accounts. All right, let's go back to here. So base DN, um, and here we are going to type. So OU equals JS users, comma DC equals JS, DC equals COM. All right, and um, LDAP filter. So we are going to use a standard filter 
and open bracket cn equals star close bracket so this means all uses from this ou okay cn equals everything and username field um, which is a username field in active directory that's one of the attributes it is going to be sam account name last name that's another attribute is sn um, ldap first given name i will use given name ldap authentication query this has this is very critical and it has to be right and it is going to be sam account name equals ldap version so usually it is three in most cases i'm using windows server 2016 ldap version equals so this has to be three and um, that's all click on save and then again it, click on ldap so let's just test our ldap sync just click on test it will say connection to ldap server established and the next bit is we are going to try and test te uh, ldap login so that's a different thing so test ldap sync is different it means it will sync all the users it does not mean that uh, all the users can actually log on to our Snipe IT server. So unless you actually test this bit here. Okay, so I'm going to test with AMS1 and um, password. Okay, so I'm going to type in the password for this and click on test. So as you can see that user authenticated against LDAP successfully. And everything is good here. And once uh, we are happy with that and you have tested actually LDAP sync and test LDAP login option, uh, we will go back to here on the left hand side on people, click on that and then on the top right hand corner, click on LDAP sync and then click on synchronize. So it will process against our uh, Active Directory and sync all the users. As we can see, we have five users, SACM, AMS1, DSI, AMS and CPI and uh, click on back all these users they are standard users none of them is an admin so we will log out as j and we will log back in with one of the active directory users we have synced so let's log uh, log in with ms1 type in the password log in as you can see that i can successfully log uh, log in with one of the users um, that is from active directory let's log out and i will log back in uh, with Dave DSI and password you can see that I logged in as Dave Singh as well so I'm going to log out leave a comment if this video helped you or if you have any questions also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video